everyone. Miss Lynn here at the Sun Prairie Public Library. Welcome back as we continue to celebrate Black History Month through picture books. Today we have Brave Ballerina, the story of Janet Collins, written by Michelle Meadows and illustrated by Ebony Glenn. And something I want to point out in this book is that at the very end, like so many picture book biographies, there is additional information about Janet Collins with real pictures from her life. Pretty cool. If you check this book out, you can check those out yourself. All right, let's get started. Brave Ballerina, the story of Janet Collins. Written by Michelle Meadows, illustrated by Ebony Glenn, published by Henry Holt and Company. This is the girl who danced in the breeze to the swoosh, swoosh, swoosh of towering trees. These are the costumes her dear mama made. Costumes for lessons, that's how they paid. These are the point shoes, shiny and pink. Small, quick steps, plink, plink, plink. This is the audience lined up in rows cheering her on as she danced on her toes. This is the family that lifted her high, supporting her dreams right up to the sky. This is the backbend low to the ground, which she practiced until it was perfectly round. This is the trio, three shades of brown, daredevil dancers, the talk of the town. This is the time way back in the day when dance schools turned black students away. This is the teacher who stood by her side, knees bending deep and arms open wide. This is the streetcar she rode in the dark to see ballerinas making their mark. This is the dancer who found her way in, but learned she would have to lighten her skin. This is the girl with a broken heart, but she bounced right back and made a new start. This is the dancer who kept going strong, bare feet flying to a Spanish song. This is the music, bum, 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 back and forth to the beat of a drum. This is the class, a welcoming place that focused on talent regardless of race. This is the sweat that dripped from her skin when she practiced alone again and again. This is the dancer who went back for more when her tender toes ached and her muscles felt sore. This is the body, expression so real, gestures and movements that made people feel. This is the man who saw her perform and knew she would take the world by storm. This is the dancer, bold like the sun, a prima ballerina in 1951. In the author's note about how her experience with ballet led her to write this book and all of her research on Janet Collins. And here's a picture of Janet Collins in 1951, the year she first performed at the Metropolitan Opera House. And a picture of Janet Collins holding a flower bouquet in her dressing room after performing at the Met Opera on November 13th. 1951. I hope you enjoyed that one. Join us next time for another book to celebrate Black History Month. Bye!